You didn't come home last night? No, I, uh, I slept at the school. I needed to make an early start this morning. So I see. Yeah, well, it makes sense all round if I'm on site from now on. You're moving out? Till we're done. Right. Any road, uh, stand here won't get it done any quicker, will it? No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to toast the future Mrs. Purvis. Uh, <laughs> you, you still want to marry us, don't you? Of course. <laughs> right. Well, there's something I want to do. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, have what pop tarts, and then I've got to go and see somebody. Simon! What? What's this crap? That's for payment. Very funny. Why you bought the cheap stuff? Acrylic primer? What's got into you? Well, now that Alan's shafted us, what's the point in throwing good money after bad? I thought I'd save us a couple of quid. Nah, not cutting corners now. So you can take this crap back and get some proper primer and some proper paint. Well, we're gonna need some extra men then. I know which not turned up. We'll manage. But I'm the only I one said who's we'll manage. We're going to get this place looking perfect. We're the without Trevor's help. So you sort out the paint, and I'll sort everything else. Right. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, the school gardens need landscape. Too right, they do. Yes. Well, you know, last night, in between your bouts of suicidal mania, you said you had some ideas. Well, it's clear you didn't have a clue. So do you want to do it? Work for you. <laughs> you were droning on last night about not having a job. Well, here you are. Oh, I see. It's give poor old Jeff a lift, is it? No, 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 no. It's give sad old Jeff a kick up the ass. You still owe us money, Jeff. You do the job, call it quits. Well, that's if you're up to it, like. Of course I'm up to it. Right then. Get my gardening gloves. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want, Purvis? Before you get old Vinnie Jones on me, listen. Me and Claire, we're gonna get wed. You what? 
You may not like it, but that's how it is. She's not. No, not yet. But we love each other, we're gonna be together, so that means we're all gonna be family. Now I'm prepared to put our differences aside for Claire's sake. I hope you can do the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay. For Claire's sake. Really? Right, okay. Well, we'll keep you posted. Yeah. Do that. Buy me lunch with the money, yours, yeah. Hello, Uncle Alan. Morning. Goodbye, Uncle Alan. Oh, put it away. I've just had any breakfast. Don't get up on my account. Hi, Trevor. Hiya. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me. Joe's got you to do his dirty work for him, has he? What? Look, tell him if he wants to apologise for what he said to me, to do it in person. Sorry, Trevor, these are from me. A little engagement present for you and Claire. Oh, right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. lovely. <laughs> to be honest, there's a, an ulterior motive behind the flowers. I knew it. Joe can't get along without me. Joe's moved out. No, no, no. I need it done. And I need it done now. That's why I'll pay you 30% more than Nick's paying you. 50. 40 tops. Cash in hand. Nah. Oh, well, if you don't want to work. All right. Very wise choice, sir. Van, this way. Come on, lads, let's go. Oi! Oh, save your lame excuses, Alan. Half of Tyneside knows about you and your hands on secretary. I'm a PA! That's what they call it these days, is it? Anyway, it's Joe and Trevor I'm bothered about. Ripping them off like that. Your own kith and kin. It's business. You know nothing about it. Buying them flats at a knockdown price so that you could sell them on for profit and they get nothing. What kind of business is that? Look, if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. I've taught them a valuable lesson. I'm sure they'd rather have top whack for the flats, which is what they're going to get. Sales already been agreed. You pay those boys what they're owed or you'll be the one taught a lesson. I'm not paying another penny. Fine. If that's the way you want to play it. But then, of course, I shall feel duty-bound to pay them myself. So I suppose I'll just have to divorce you and take you for every last brass farthing. You said it was to be near the school. Well, there's a lot to be done. Oh, come on, Trevor, I'm not stupid. We only live round the corner. Oh, yeah. E everything was great. Now he won't even tell me what's wrong. He does love you, Viv. Then why is he shutting me out? Because he loves you. What Alan said really got to him, Matt. I think he's scared of hurting you. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, I don't know. He wants now to do with me either, does he? When Joe gets knocked back, there's only one person who can put him on his feet again. 
And that's Joe. Oh, I love you, Trevor. And I don't believe a word Alan said. The trouble is, Joe does. No! No! I want that corner for there. I told you where to put it. I'll tell you where to put it in a minute, lad. The secret of landscape gardening is organisation, Joe. You can't be gung-ho about it. Please don't make me regret talking you down from that roof, Jeff. You didn't talk me down, Joe. You walked off in a half and left me with Trevor. Oh, yeah. Shame you didn't fall, you stupid bourgeois sponge brain. Oh, Nick. Yeah, it's Mr. Costello, actually. And where is everyone? That Joe Purvis turned up. He offered top whack to the lads to help finish his job. Oh, he did, did he? What, and, and you just let him go, did you? Well, I couldn't stop him. I did my best. Good. You're fired. What? Get your stuff and get out! Well? We have a winner. Mm. Yes! yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the balance will be in your account by the end of the week. That's great, Andrew Moray. <laughs> and I've even managed to wangle you five grand to tide you over. Well, it's only what you owed. So now what are you going to do with it? You know, I might just start a new project. Just me. Good for you. And pay off everybody who's owed money. Make sure the architect's got enough to start something new. Are you two not going in together again? Ah, uh, that's what she wants. She? It's very, very complicated, Annie Maureen. I'm sure. She's got these big ideas for the both of us, so I'll just let her down. This is about what Alan said, isn't it? No. This is about what Alan did. He was going to leave us with nothing. And? And? I just got reminded. You get too close, you let people down. Lunch? Nick again, is it? Nope. For once, got done over the bailiffs. Oh. Is she all right? Does it look all right, Simon? No. Hmm? Does this mean you're going to move back in with her? Shush. Well, I was just shush, 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 shush. Back to work. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sam. Your mum around? Mum! Well, that should find her. Can we get a video out tonight? Hey, I'm, uh, I'm up my eyes, Sam. A minute. Hi. All right. Sam, paper's got your lunch on the table. Maybe we can do a video next week, Joe. See ya. Cross on. So you haven't told him yet, then? Told him what? I haven't got a clue what's going on. Are you moving back? No, I came around to give you this. What is it? It's part of the money you owed from the school, and I'll get you the rest as soon as I can. Why are you giving it to me now? So you can get on, Viv, and look for another place. What? Do all the things you talked about. We talked about? I wanted to do them with you, Joe. Yeah, well, that, that can't happen now, can it, Oh, I see. One easy payment and I'm out of your life. You know it's not like that. Well, how come? That's exactly how it feels. Hey. 
Alan may have said those things, Joe, but you're the one making them come true. Yeah, Nick was a bit funny at first, but after I had a word with him, he was fine. You'd be telling me he volunteered to give me away next. <laughs> oh, kind of. Anyway, one brother down, one to go. Hmm. All right. All right. What happened? Trash by vandals. Badly. Bad enough. Look, I wanted to talk about last night. I time to think of you. Yeah. Good. Good! Yeah. Yeah. Knew you'd see sense. Marrying Claire was the worst thing you could have done, Trev. Still marrying her. Why can't you be happy for us? He is! All right, Nick. Back to the site now. Now! Is this not streaky to you? You are being incredibly stupid, siding with a bunch of fly by night cowboys. What are you going to do when this job runs out, eh? Don't come crying to me. Tease up. Oh, watch your back there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I've only just got the divorce. <laughs> I love Claire. No, you don't. And we're going to be happy. Hi, Nick. Who knows, I might follow your lead. Take my share and go into business elsewhere. Hey, you and Mick are going to partnership. Purvis and Costello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a thought. Hey, I hear you found out who your bargain basement buyer was. <laughs> your own uncle as well. Oh, that's got to hurt, hasn't it? Stay out of it. Yeah, but that's family betrayal, that is. I mean, nothing worse than that. You never forget something like that, never. Hey, I thought they called me the Day Glow King. <laughs> Come on, man, she's supposed to be your pride and joy, isn't she? She's your pride and joy! What's this? Two tickets. One adult, one child. Fourteen nights in roads, leaving Saturday. One adult? Yeah. Things are going to get messy with Joe. I don't want Sam to be caught in the middle. It's a bit extreme, really, isn't it? I don't believe he really wants to throw it all away. And I'm going to do everything I can to make him see sense. But I'm not waiting forever, Pippa. It's not fair on Sam. It's not fair on me. Can't stay away forever. No. So, Joe and I either sort it out before I go, or... That's it. Your pride and joy. Morning. Joe hasn't gone yet, has he? Simon, the job's not finished. He can't go now. Keep your hair on. He's only moved the van out of town. What, well, so he's coming back? He said he just wanted to get away from everything. Nick and Trevor and, you know. Just as long as it gets done. 
He's gonna get this place perfect if it kills him, Viv. Lovely to meet you, Claire. Mm, you too. So how long are you going to be in Brighton for? Long enough to throw you to an engagement party. Oh, a party. Great. And I've got some bridal magazines in my bag. You can have a good route through presently. Give us some ideas. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy Maureen. And this do will give you a chance to patch things up with Joel. No, he won't come to any party. He's too wrapped up in himself. You know your brother. He'd rather walk on his lips than say he needs anyone. But right now, I'd say he needs you more than ever. All done in here. Just about to after lunch. Great. Looks good. Yeah. Work well together, don't we? Got to get on, Viv. Joe. Sam and I are going away. What? To Greece. Just for a holiday. But before I go, I need to know where I stand. I told you, Viv. Take the money, start a new project. Without you? Yes. That's what you really want? It's what's best. Right then, I'll take the money. Right. I'll go get it for you. So, the wedding. The wedding? Anyway, what have you decided? Church or registry? Oh. I'm not really decided. It's all happened so quickly. No time to think. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, my auntie Maureen, um, she's organised this party uh, you know, on a boat. It's amazing. Engagement. Big. You can't come, can you? Please. Of yeah, course, of course. You know, the one thing that upsets me about this wedding business. What? What? Me and Joe are still at loggerheads. You know, I went around to see him last night and smoked the old peace pipe, but <laughs> that had gone. Yeah, he's moved it. Couldn't tell me where, could you, Trevor? No, because I, I would really love to go and get this sorted out once and for all. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm working on him as well. But between the two of us, I mean, he didn't stand a chance, really. <laughs> no, he didn't stand a chance. No. <laughs> Perfect. You didn't want the money. I didn't. So then why did you take it? Because I have a plan. Does this plan involve a hit man? No. It involves the one thing he's sure of. His work. We worked together before, so why not again? What? I'm going to find another place for us to convert. Show him I believe in him. And this makes it possible. You're off tomorrow. You're going to find a project for you both by then. Pepper, I've tried everything else. This is my last chance. What are you doing out here, man? I'm in the bus goes nowhere near. It took me 20 minutes to walk here. Busting for the loo. Well, I was trying to get away from it all. Well, come on, man. We'll have to sort this out, eh? I don't want us falling out over Claire, the marriage. Ooh, a bit late for that, isn't it, Trev? Nick's making an effort. Why can't you? You really think he wants you to be part of the family, don't you? <laughs> Go on the toilet. 
Oh, don't shoot the... Duh. Joe? Yes, Trevor. I'm stuck. I know. Well, get me out. I can't. Why? Doors bust. Well, force it open then. I can't. Why? Let me tools out. Who well, to? People across the way. Well, get them back then. Thought you didn't need me anymore. Joe, I'll run out of oxygen soon. Promises, promise. Afternoon. How oh, I? Sorry to bother you. Couldn't nick me tools off you again, could I? Oh, sure. Come in. Smashing. It was a nice tea.
Are you? That was close. You bastard! You bastard! You are bastard! You bastard! Oh, did you think that? No, no, oh, man. <sighs> Don't you ever do that to me again. <sighs> There goes a no claim for it. Joe. The wedding. Say you'll be my best man. Trevor? I'd be honoured. I know you've got Trevor's party to go to, but I just need an hour of your time. Maybe as it is, Viv. An hour, Joe? You owe me that at least. Okay. Happy. Oh, Let's see what you've got. Class. <laughs> well, it must have cost a fortune, that. I bet Joe was fuming, was he? Just relieved Trevor got out. We all were. Trevor was inside? What, you mean he, he almost went over with the van? Yes. And Joe. He tried to rescue him. Look, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me that both purposes could have been wiped out in one fell swoop? No. Someone must really have it in for those boys. Well, why would you say that? It was an accident. Oh, Lynn. What are we doing here? Just found it yesterday. Perfect, isn't it? The minute I saw it, I thought Joe would love this. I know it's run down, needs a hell of a lot of work, but so did the school when we first looked at that. So you want us to buy this place? I've already had some great ideas, Joe. When I came yesterday, only one guy had been to see it. It looks like he's made an offer, so we'll have to move quickly. You and me. After everything that's happened. It's impossible, Viv. When you first suggested me leaving my job and converting the school, I thought you were mad. I thought I was mad for even considering it. I was dreaming. Yeah, you were. But you made me realize something. I'd sacrificed all my dreams. Just let them all go. But you gave them back to me, Joe. And now I want to do the same for you. Dreams. Dreams. They don't last, Viv. Go wake up, real world. But the school worked. 
We worked, Joe. It wouldn't last, Viv. You heard Alan? Alan. Sooner or later, I'm going to let you down. Alan knows nothing about us. We good together. You, me and Sam, that's all that matters. I can't give you what you want. Then I'll take whatever you can offer. For now. See, somewhere down that line, you're going to see me for who I really am. No, no. And you will regret the day we had this conversation. I don't regret a thing. You will. Not if you give this a chance. Give me a chance. I'm sorry, Viv, I can't. You gonna come in? No, I'd better go and finish my packing. My flight's at nine. Right, right. I suppose you'll be gone when I get back. Suppose. Take care of yourself, Viv. And I say to the Sam for us, will you? Goodbye, Joe. Oh, I'm a little bit. <laughs> Who's this, look? Oh. Yeah? Ah, yeah. Does it seem like five minutes since we were getting married? No. It's funny, since I've been working on the gardens, I've been thinking about what's important. Yes? Yes. And you and Becky are at the top of the list. Always have been. I haven't always felt like that. I know I've been a bit of a prat, but I feel I've changed. I feel I've found a whole new lease of life, but it's not complete without you. Would you come and look at the gardens at the school? I'd love to know what you think. All right, Jeff. Mm. <laughs> you should see my clematis. It's quite a sight. <laughs> Thank you. Joseph. So glad you could make it. And it's so nice to see you all in one piece after your little accident. The only reason I haven't kicked ten types of shade out of you is because of treble, right? And I thought you'd given this marriage a blessing. No, just stop. Just stop, Nick. I know what you did. Yeah, what's that? Well, you know, just a little matter of pushing my home over a cliff and uh, nearly killing my brother. You can't prove a thing. No. Nope. But if there's any more little accidents, so God help me, Nick, I will end you, you shit. So this stops the dead, you hear? Right now. It's gone too far. Oh no, it hasn't gone nearly far enough. What? Oh, here he is, man of the hour. What did you say? I'll get you a drink. What did you say, Joe? It was him, Trevor. I saw him. He pushed the van over the cliff. Don't get off. He's just had too many bevies. You pushed? Thought we were friends. Listen, Trevor, I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire, but I didn't tell you. Oh! Oh, yes, Trevor. Go on, Will, get stuck in there. Stop it! Claire, your brother. Shut up. They're, they're lying, Claire. Whatever they tell you, they are lying. Just shut up. You can't let it go, can you? Even today. The van. 
It wasn't an accident. He pushed it. He's making it up, Claire, to get at me. They both are. It was him. No, it wasn't. He's lying. It wasn't, Claire. It was you. I should have known you couldn't be happy for me. You just used this wedding as another way to get back at them. Exactly. Oh, and you're no better. Huh? You've kept this feud going as much as he has. You don't care about me. None of you do. You just use me to get at each other. Well, I'm sick of being used and I'm sick of all of you. I'm sorry for what I said. Don't worry. Married couples are always rowing. We just got a bit of practice in early, that's all. Except that's the closest we're gonna get to being married, isn't it? You know I love you, Claire. And I love you too. for you all over. Where you been? You just went off. Had to speak to Claire. Oh, right. And? We're just putting things on hold for a while. Sorry, Trey. No, you're still miles away. We're fine. She just needs a bit of time on her own. So do I. You know, just me. We're staying close, friends. Yeah. You can never have enough friends, Trent. You especially. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Place looks good, Joe. Yeah. What does Viv think? So this was all a waste of time, then, was it? I mean, that's why you were so keen to get this done, wasn't it? Do the school, get the girls, set up Purvis and Casey. You see, you got that all wrong. If I'd have gone in with Viv, it'd have been Purvis, Purvis and Casey. Anyway, this was about me. I had to prove to myself I could see something through. You did? Yeah. You said all along we had to think big. This was your dream. You made it work. We made it work. You were the one who took all the risk. Yeah. Spend me all life rolling the dice. They usually come up sixes though, don't they? It's just sometimes you don't realise when they're staring you in the face. Well, finished. Mm -hmm. hmm. We don't do bad, you and me, do we? No. Not bad at all. No. You know, I don't think I'll be going into partnership with Nick since he tried to kill me, so, you know, if you still wanted to, 
Maybe we could do another job together. Well, only if you wanted to, mind. You know, maybe Purvis, Purvis and Casey could take on another job. Time is a trap. Ten to seven, why? Dreaming again. Uh, we'll fuck you. Simon, where's Simon? The Beckys. Passport? Glove compartment. Where are we going? Airport. Don't wander off, Sam. We'll be called any minute. Here's your share of the money. Thought you'd appreciate the cash. Does this mean I'm free, finally, or master? No, it means you have the hook for the time being. I want you rem go when we get back, all right? How are you? See you, Simon. Ah, I'll see you. See you when I see you. Go, 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 man! Bring us back a stick of rock! <laughs> oh, shit. What? We need the south terminal. Eh? Simon! Simon! Oh, what are we going to do now? We'll never find her like this. Just keep looking. This is the call from flight 676. You couldn't make an announcement for us, could you? I'm sorry, sir. This is for flight information only. Personal hey, messages to be related Boys to the Where? Hey, Robbie! Hey. Robin! Hey. Viv! It's, it's Joe. Joe. It's Joe, Joe Trevor, Trevor and Trevor. Mum, it's Joe. Viv, are you out there? Can you hear us? Yeah. Viv, we're in zone number... D! Go on, sorry, I'm take this Viv! Just want a quick word, like... Come on. I just wanted to say, let's do the cinema. We can make it work. You came all this way to tell me that. I don't know. Not exactly. I know I missed you about, but, uh, well, do you think we can give it another go, Viv? You and me? I'm not promising forever. I wouldn't want you to. Is that a yes? That's a yes. But the cinema, they'll have accepted the other guy's offer by now. Hmm? Certainly have. Oh, you. One ticket for Rhodes. Yeah, you don't mind a bit of company on your trip, do you? Well, me and Trev thought we deserved a break, you know, before we start the new job. Yeah. Actually, it'll uh, just be the three of you. Hey? It was the last seat, unfortunately. Uh, what can you do? I'll get you in the later flight. I'm going to have a word at the door. Don't worry about it, Joe. Um, I'm going to stay around here, all right? I think Claire could use a friend right now. Thanks, Trevor. Look after him, will ya? Yeah. Go on. Before you miss your flag, go on. Send your postcard. Hey, you better. Oh, 
拜拜。Look at the Simon. Otherwise, it'll take advantage of your simple nature. Don't go using the conditioner. If anything, that.